Hello, and welcome to a session of uh, Player's Perspective. Uh, the game I will be talking about today is uh, Hare and Tortoise. It was originally uh, designed or published in 1973. Uh, it's by uh, David Parlett. This was actually the first game to win the, uh, the Spiel des Jahres back in 1979. For 45 minutes is about right, uh, two to six players. Uh, now it has the ages listed at 12 plus. Uh, I'd say you could probably go a good bit younger with this, probably eight, eight and up. I think that was the that was the uh, the ages listed at um, on Board Game Geek. But that's probably closer to it. Um, I don't think an eight-year-old could play it by himself, but you could definitely play this game with an eight-year-old if there was an adult or or an uh, older child uh, present. Hair and Tortoise is a racing game. It um, mimics the 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 fable of the hare and the tortoise their race and. I think it does a pretty good job with that, but I'll get into that and into my uh, conclusion. So let's uh, move right into components. So you can see here that the uh, the board for uh, Heron Tortoise uh, here in front of me with a pretty much a uh, six-player game um, set up. Uh, so yeah, Heron Tortoise is a uh, racing game. Um, you know, like all racing games, you just travel along the board and you are uh, you know, trying to be the first to the finish. Um, if you kind of look at it, you think it's it's a roll and move. You know, that, that was kind of my first thought was, oh, is this just like a roll and move game? Well, no. Um, there is a dice in the in the game, but um, it introduces an element of randomness, but it doesn't isn't actually how you move. So uh, in this game, you actually decide how many spaces you're going to go, um, and, what, and uh, the way that works is that you then pay for your movement in uh, carrots. So everybody starts the game with 60 carrots, and you're going to be spending those to move throughout the game. So uh, each move uh, rapidly scales up the number of spaces you want to move. So if you want to move, you know, the first space, it's only one carrot. But if you want to actually move two spaces, that's three carrots, because it's one plus one, two. So you're adding up um, each uh, each movement with each additional movement. So uh, so if I want to move three spaces, it would be six spaces, because it would be three plus two plus one. Again, uh, four spaces, you would pay ten carrots, which would be four plus three plus two plus one. So you can see quickly it gets, you know, the, the farther you want to move, the more expensive it's going to be in carrots. So you really got to decide, you know, is is this is it worth it at this time for me to, you know, to me to move forward uh, that number of spaces, or should I play it more conservative and spend less carrots? Moving on to the different spaces in the game, what makes the game really interesting is that it, it really does tie into that heron, heron tortoise uh, theme. Um, typically, you're going to have a lot of advantages if you are not in uh, first place, if you're in at least second, if not if not even in last place, because each of these spaces on the board, a lot of the spaces on the board, favor those who are in who are further back in order. Um, one that particularly stress are these number spaces. Uh, here, what those are is uh, if I were to say, you know, move to that space, uh, move to the three space, um, I would get nothing for landing on it. But when it came to my next turn, if I was in, you know, third position, I would then get 30 carats. But if I'm not in third position, I don't get anything. So, you know, there's a lot of sort of jockeying pos for position in this game. Why you'd want to be in last place would be, you know, this position here, so there's a five and six. Well, if I'm there, if I'm in fifth or sixth position, I would get 50 or 60 carats. So again, each of these corresponds, so the number corresponds to the position you have to be in to get the bonus, and then it also corresponds to how many carats you get. So it would be two times 10, which would be 20, four times 10, which would be 40. So in this one, it would be, if you're in fifth or sixth position, you would get 50 or 60 carats. If you're in first position, you would only get 10 carats for that place. Another space that also ties into your position is the is the hair space. Uh, that space there, that's where the die comes in, is you roll for, uh, you know, you, you roll to indicate what's going to happen to you. So if you're in first space here, there's a lot of bad things that will happen to you. You know, you'd lose your next turn or move a carrot space backwards or um, move a position backwards. So most of these spaces, if you're in first place, are negative. Whereas if you're in, you know, fifth or sixth place, most of them are positive. So the only one that's negative is really this 
this uh, lose a turn space, but all the rest, you know, move a carrot space forwards, move a pole position forwards. So if you're in, you know, fifth place, you jump to ahead of fourth place. So even if there's, you know, a large difference between them, it makes it make a huge difference. Eat a lettuce, go again. So you can see that the, the scale uh, slides very much so in favor of the people that are in, you know, last position. The other spaces that are on the board uh, are the carrot space. So, uh, these carrot space. So when you land on this space, you don't get anything. But on your next turn, you can decide not to move and take or give up 10 carrots. So you can continue to accrue carrots without having to move. All the other spaces, you have to move on your next turn. Um, now, I said give up. Why would you want to give up uh, carrots since they're, they require you to move? Well, so in order to take first place, you have to have a maximum of 10 carrots. So you have to have 10 or less. Uh, second place, 20 or less. Three, third place, uh, 30 or less. So you can't hoard carrots. you got to figure out, okay, uh, how many carrots do I need to finish? Because um, if I have you know, 50 carrots when I get here, if I'm ahead of everybody else, I'm going to have to sit on this carrot space for four turns to get rid of those 40 extra carrots that I don't need. And that's going to give all the other players an opportunity to jump in ahead of me. So there are uh, two spaces left. Um, next space I'm going to talk to you about is the, uh, is the tortoise space. Uh, that space cannot be landed on when you're moving forward, so I couldn't go forward and land on that space. Uh, however, you can move backward and land on that space. What that space does for you is, um, if you choose to move backward and land on it, you get um, ten times the number of carrots. So if I move back one, two, three spaces, I would get thirty carrots for landing on that space. Um, the interesting thing is that you can continue to move backwards. So if, you know, if I'm on this, if I if I move back to this torch to gain twenty, I could then move back an additional four to gain forty carrots, um, and then go back again to gain another forty. So you know that's a quick way um, if you're you know out of carrots to you know get those carrots back. Um, the last space is the lettuce space. Uh, now every player starts the game with three uh, three lettuce cards. Um, during the course of the game, you're going to have to eat those three lettuce cards. So when you land on the lettuce space, uh, you flip yourself over, and then on your next turn, you'll get to eat one lettuce, and that will be your whole turn. But you can only, at each space, you can only eat one lettuce. So even if I, once I've landed on this space, I cannot land on that space again. I need to then move forward to one of the three other ones. So you're going to have to land on three of the four spaces, unless you get lucky and get this hair card, which you know, if you roll five at, on the uh, on the hair space, you do have the opportunity to eat a lettuce there. But you know, that's a, you know one in six chance. So it may happen, it may not. Um, so you really want to try to hit these these lettuces early. But the difficulty is that everyone else wants to do the same thing. So you've really got to decide. Okay, you know, if I'm if I'm way back here, do I want to spend the extra car extra you know uh, carrots to you know to make that jump and you know get to eat my lettuce because everyone else then is going to have to wait because um, it's not going to even be the next turn because they're going to have to wait because on your next turn you're going to eat that lettuce so it's going to be two turns before they can actually go in that space so where are they going to just you know slowly move forward to try to uh, take advantage of that space after you leave it so uh, the lettuce spaces really do set the pacing for the game because everyone's trying to hit these you know, hit these key spots, you know, while they're moving around the board. So everybody's really, throughout the whole course of the game, you're jockeying for position. You're trying to get in there. So, you know, there's different different strategies. Are, are you going to try to, you know, stay in last position the whole time and try to gather this, you know, and, and hopefully jump forward, you know, towards the end of the game? Or are you going to try to stay, you know, try to, you know, uh, jump between, you know, first and second? It's really interesting the way... Um, you know, the dynamics you're interacting with other players, you're trying to block them from getting the bonuses, you're trying to, you know, get to the space before someone else does, block them from using it. It's a very well designed game, there's a lot of player interaction, um, it's just it's just a lot of fun. And moving on to the conclusion and my thoughts on uh, Hair and Tortoise. So, Hair and Tortoise. Uh, what do I think of the game? I think you should definitely give it a shot. Uh, definitely. Uh, definitely play it if it's you know if it's offered. Try it out, see if you like it. Um, don't let the, the the cartoon artwork throw you off. If that's not your deal. Um, it's a good racing game. Um, a lot of fun to be had. Uh, and yeah, yeah, thumbs up. Uh, the game we're gonna be talking to you today is uh, 
Do that again. Because you said the game I'm going to be talking to you today. The game I'll be talking about today or telling you about. Giving tips, helpful tips, useful <laughs> tips. Um, yeah. The game that we're talking to today is uh, Heron Tortoise. You just did it again. <laughs> the game I'm going to be talking today. <laughs> 